This movie is inspired by a true story and that what makes it so special because it makes me imagine how it was in the old days. This story warms my heart and I'm sure that it'll warm yours as well. So even before I started this movie review, I definitely suggest that the, you watch this movie first because I want you to experience the magic, the warmness that I felt. It'll be a feast for your curious mind. I promise. Good morning, afternoon, evening everyone. Hi, my name is Mira and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'm sorry if I look a little bit tired. I've already done two movie reviews and um, my throat gets a little bit scratchy because talking too much. <laughs> and maybe it shows my face as well. I don't know. Uh, but thank you for sticking around. Thank you for liking my movie review and trailer reaction and as always, if you haven't, please don't forget to click that bell button besides my subscribe button so you will be notified if I upload something new. Green Book is playing in limited theaters in my country and that's why I don't know so much about it before I watch a movie, I mean. I only know from some friends that said that this movie is good. I believe it's almost two weeks after this movie was initially shown, so I'm a bit worried. I finally make time to watch it. And thankfully, I was not disappointed because the storyline was so good. It revolves around two main characters, Tony Falelonga, I hope I phrased that name right, who has a job as waiter slash bouncer in a very respectable place, very respectable club, and Don Shirley, who is a very well-known but African-American musician. The story starts when Tony Falelonga lost his job because his nightclub that he works at is being renovated struggling to find a new job suddenly his boss called him to say that someone was looking for him to interview for a job as a driver little did he know that it was don shirley that required his expertise now back in their timeline segregation is pretty much still happening so imagine Tony's feelings when he found out that he has to drive and be a subordinate for this trapping, fine um, African-American gentleman. However, the story evolves to something that is sweet and thoughtful and definitely wasn't what Tony or Don Shirley has in mind at first, which is why it's so beautiful. Again, another warning, if you haven't seen the movie, please stop here, please. Not knowing anything about this movie, making me having no expectation about how this movie will turn out. At the first scene, I thought it would be like some kind of godfather stuff, you know, just gangster and then mobs, mafia and stuff like that. And seeing Tony being sly at his initial job makes me think that this will going to be some you know, crime drama movie. However, when I see Don Shirley for the very first time, I know there's more than meet the eyes. The movie started out strong, explaining Tony Lip's background very gracefully. We understand who he is and how he get himself in that situation. But of course, the most surprising twist came from Don Shirley with his secrets and his own demons. The movie depicts the relationship flawlessly through the struggles, through the ups and downs, and eventually they get the character development that they deserve. Another thing that I like about this movie is how great they tell the story about racism in that era. It kind of breaks my heart but also makes me think about how much we have accomplished since then, even though what we have now is still not perfect. The strongest scene for me is when their car broke down and Tony went outside to fix the car while initially Don Shirley just stays inside. Then he finally feels hot and you know walked out to get some air only to see all of the African American field workers stop working and looking at them. It blew my mind away. Also, there are certain scenes where their friendship is being tested. Like how Tony doesn't care about what everyone thinks and Don Shirley is constantly worries about that, especially when it comes to his accents and such. Plus when Don Shirley is immensely drunk and Tony had to figure out why he's being like that. 
their habits and quirks are very distinctive from one another, but that is what makes their relationship unique and long-lasting. What I love most other than character development is the ending. They could've chosen a cliche one, like a time jump, to how Tony and Don's relationship still strong until their dying day, or make the movie quite long and fast forward their timeline until they are old. But they choose to finish it when Tony decided to invite Don Shirley for the Christmas dinner at his home. It was sweet and lovely and so apt, making us remember the moment as when Tony finally accepts and realizes Don Shirley as his best friend. I walk out of the movie theater with a bright smile on my face and a very light heart. Character-wise, of course, I love both Tony and Don Shirley. Aside from all the things that I've said before, the movie depicts their flaws and strengths clearly. And it's really nice to see how they evolved. Little tidbits in their friendship is very fun to watch. Like when Don Shirley helps Tony with his letters. May I? Dear Dolores, as I'm writing this letter, I'm starting to get thirsty. You know this is pathetic, right? And how Tony teaches Don Shirley how to eat fried chicken. What do we do about the bones? We do this. There you go. <laughs> Lena Cardellini is also great as Tony's wife. And I have a feeling that I've seen her somewhere, only to remember that she is also Velma from Scooby-Doo. I like me some Scooby-Doo, just FYI. Should you watch this movie? Green Book is a breath of fresh air, of course. You will be immersed in the story of racism and true friendship. Plus, it has an adequate amount of comedy so you won't get bored. And the message is also important, not to mention that this is based on a true story, which making it even more awesome to watch. You wouldn't waste your time or money on this, I promise. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my movie review. <laughs> and if you did, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. They are in my description below. Thank you again so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!